Mason City Council chamber is not as packed as in previous meetings, but most of the crowd in attendance is there for one reason, the sanctuary city ordinance. The electorate spoke in record numbers during an off-year election. They want this to go away. Comment chippy among some council members who are on opposing sides of the issue. Council member and former mayor Kathy Grossman firm in her belief the ordinance should stand, but she was alone in the vote. Council repealing the ordinance six to one. Tonight's vote was expected, but it's tragic. It makes your stomach upset. Pro-life advocates say this is not the end of the line, while residents working to repeal the ordinance celebrate. I am incredibly relieved and happy for our city that we've managed to clean up quite a few uh, what I would characterize as garbage ordinances that were passed in our previous administration. Joy Bennett led a grassroots effort gathering signatures for a referendum. She says putting the issue on the ballot was to buy time for this new council. She says she hopes other steps are taken to support life. I also would like to see fewer abortions happen. And that means that we need to provide paid maternity leave. We need affordable health care. We need affordable child care. Laura Streetman with Cincinnati Right for Life says it may still appear come next election day. I would expect that the pro-life people in Mason will do something about actually getting this on the ballot and for there to be a vote. So in order to get on the ballot, they would have to go about that same process of gathering signatures for a referendum. And Streetman wouldn't go into much detail about what they have planned, but she did say that uh, pro-life organizers have been in talks about next steps. Reporting live in Mason, Molly Lair, WWT News 5. All right, a lot of passion there, uh, Molly, on both sides of the issue. Thanks so much.